Good evening. You have tuned into the ties that bind. Uh, we uh, are labeling. It's it's like a subtopic topic and a topic. The ties that bind means that uh, you we're connected with everybody. Uh, we're we're connected with one another, and not with everyone, but we're connected for uh, for reasons. And um, our subtitle was um, a family meeting. And that was something that um, we got that from what my dad used to do. A lot of t- a lot of times we were always not a lot of times we would always have a meeting every week, and that was the time that we had to how do you say say what we wanted to say um, without the reper- repercussions of it. You know, you say it within reason, you be, be respectful, but if you disagree with something that went, went on and if something didn't work right, we would, we would discuss it. And my dad would discuss what we did um, that week and how that went on and, and so on and so forth. So this is our, us bringing our family meeting to you all. And so we have um, two co-hosts. Um, and uh, we have James, and we have Tiffany. And I was that do James' name first, but, you know, but it's Tiffany and James. Uh, and uh, we are, Tiffany is going to um, spearhead the subject tonight, which is going to be, it's, it's on a topic, topic that we started talking about um, about a week ago, last week, I think it was. So we're going to go on with that, and I'm going to turn it over and I wanted you all to know that you know, that we uh, appreciate you all coming in, and I hope that what, whatever we're, our goal is to be as honest as we possibly can and to give you all the knowledge that we have. Because as we grow, I think I like the scripture in the Bible that says that iron sharpens iron, and so are we supposed to do with one another, which is that when we get together, and there's another scripture that says that forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. And this is, and James and I, and Tiffany, James, Tiffany, and I have been doing this, even though we didn't know it, our family have been doing this since we were little. This is something that we did. This is something that, you know, we just enjoy uh, one another and we just talked. So we're going to bring that to you. And anything, and there's another, I know Tiffany had brought it up, that I mentioned something last week that was incorrect. Um, I uh, there was a uh, uh, what is her name? Kay Michelle. Uh, she's a singer, uh, singer, rapper, whatever. And I said that she had cancer. And um, we found Tiffany found the information, and if she didn't have cancer, it has gone. It, that they say that she has lupus. Now I'm not so sure about that, but. That's what that's what's in black and white. That is what the the people have written. So uh, if we find more information, but we wanted to um, correct that with you until we find otherwise. And so I'm going to, without ado, I'm going to turn it over to Tiffany and James, and then they can go from there. James can turn it over to Tiffany for her to start. Hello, you guys. Hello. Go ahead, James. Hello, everybody. I'm James, um, known as The Bridge. And I'm here basically to bridge the gap between the differences that we have in our families and Mm -hmm. in our communities as well. Uh, I believe that one day that we will see that our problems are more the same than different, that way we can finally come together as a family. Mm -hmm. Tiffany? All right, good afternoon or good evening, family. Thank you for joining us. I am Tiffany, and um, I am here to bring to you the building blocks so that we can rebuild our family and strengthen our family, starting at the family unit and building out to our extended family and then onto the community at large. So I hope that we can bring you some information that will help you grow. And with that, I'll go ahead and start. So today, what are we going to be doing? Today we're going to be doing um, the VIA character strength assessment. Okay, so what is the VIA? Basically, we're trying to identify our character strengths. 
Um, Mm -hmm. The VIA is not a personality test. You'll hear people talk about personality tests and, you know, this type of personality you can talk to this way or that way. This is not what this is. This is um, an assessment of which strengths you naturally use so that you can more easily succeed. There are a set of 24 strengths that we all possess, and because we're all individuals, certain of us will have a higher acuity in certain skills and some will have higher acuity in other skills. So it's not like one's better than the other. It's just identifying how you most naturally succeed. Um, Why is that Mm -hmm. important? So the reason why it's important is because it can help you identify, like become more self-aware. If you know what uses the less energy for you to be successful, then you'll be able to leverage that in order to um, to win against your com- your competitors using the least amount of energy possible. So I think as we continue on, that it will come more clear, and I'll kind of pull you through to that point to help you get to understand what I'm saying. Um, just to reiterate, it's not a one result is better than the other. It's just your unique set of skills. Um, the mm-hmm. reason why this subject came up is because last week we were talking about keeping up with the Joneses, and Paula mm-hmm. had mentioned how she has, you know, she's a very charismatic person, and people want to emulate her. So what happens is people are copying what she's doing, and you know they're sweating, they're burning themselves out because they're not operating in their own individual strengths. When you operate mm-hmm. in your own individual strengths, it becomes effortless. It's the difference between right. having a job and doing something that you love. Um, when you're mm-hmm. able to move within your strengths, things become easier for you, and you can use that to become, like I said, more successful. So mm-hmm. who should do it? Who should do the VIA character assessment? Anybody who's looking to become more self-aware, um, anyone who's looking to improve their ability to work easier, um, <clears throat> and it's very easy to do. So how can you do it? Where do you find this? And when can you do it? Well, the answer to the first, the last question, when is now? The time is now. There's never, um, you never want to lose an opportunity to become more self-aware and to improve yourself. So yeah. if, you're, if you've got 15 minutes to spare, then now is the time. Um, mm-hmm. Where do you do it? You can, the easiest way that I've found for people to find it is to search in Google. Just go to google.com and search Penn State, the university, Penn State, VIA, that's Victor India Alpha, Character Strength Survey, and that will bring you to um, the Penn State website, and from there you can go um, to navigate through and find the survey. Um, to make it easier for you, if you go to our website, we'll post the link for you, and you can just click on the link, and it takes you directly there. Um, it can be kind of a lengthy process to get to the survey, but once mm-hmm. you get it, it takes you about 15 to 20 minutes. It's a lot of, a lot of questions that you just answer. Now, um, naturally, People want to show themselves in the best light. So it's tempting to answer, to give the quote-unquote best answer to the question and not give the true answer to the question. Um, But you're not going to cheat on this test by doing that, okay? You're only going to be lying to yourself. So do yourself a favor because Mm -hmm. do yourself a favor and just answer as truthfully as possible. You're not going to be graded against anybody else. There's no winners. There's no losers. There's no answer that's better than the other answer. You want to identify your individual truth. Mm-hmm. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to spend some time and we're going to go over our individual results. So I'll start with Paula first, um, then I'll go mm-hmm. to James, and then I'll go to mine. So um, when you take this test, it actually, like I said, there's uh, 24 different character strengths that we all possess in different degrees, and it'll give you your top five first, and then if you click mm-hmm. show more, then it'll show you all 24 and where they fall. Mm-hmm. And we'll, you know, we'll go over each of our top five results. We'll go over why it's okay to not have what you thought was your strength in the top five and how you can leverage those strengths in order to win. Sound good? Yes. Sounds good. Yep. Sounds perfect. All right. Let us begin. So I said, as I promised, we're going to start with Paula's because she has this really pretty blue type, and I'm going to <laughs> go with hers first. All right. <laughs> So Paula's survey, so she took her survey yesterday, um, and I'm going to give you her top five surveys, and we'll go over what those mean. Now, I think this, this going through the assessments is going to be pretty quick, so feel free once I go through each top five to, you know, jump in and give your opinions, um, Paula mm-hmm. and James, and, you know, to help kind of not speed through this too quickly. Right. So for Paula, her top strength is spirituality, sense of purpose, and faith. Um, but that basically means she has a strong, coherent um, connection to her individual beliefs about a higher purpose, um, the meaning of the universe, 
where you fit into the universe. And you actually can really hear that when you listen to her talk. You can tell that that is, you know, when she's talking about spirituality and faith, that she's in her strength and she shines there. Yeah. Yeah. Her second strength is an appreciation of beauty and excellence. And um, what that means is you know, she will notice and appreciate things that are beautiful, excellence, um, a skill performance. Uh, nature, art, all those things that are appeasing aesthetically, uh, 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 did I say appeasing, pleasing aesthetically, she's going to be um, strong in that area. Mm-hmm. Her third strength is creativity, ingenuity, and originality. And basically that's her being able to take nothing and turn it into something fantastic, thinking of new ways mm-hmm. to do things, you know, refreshing an old idea and making it something that's better. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's her third strength. Fourth strength mm-hmm. is bravery and valor. Um, you're a courageous person. Nothing scares you. You don't shy from a challenge. Difficulty actually excites you, um, and yeah. you will stand up for what's right no matter what's in front of you. Mm-hmm. And, and you act on what you believe in. And mm-hmm. her fifth of her top five strengths, judgment, critical thinking, and open-mindedness. So that's basically thinking things through, um, weighing all the options, making sure that you're making the best decision for the situation that you're that you're in. And you're flexible because mm-hmm. you're open-minded. You're able to change your mind. Mm-hmm. If something doesn't work, it's easy for you to just scrap it and go in a different direction. Exactly. So, so Paula, mm-hmm. after doing the survey and answering the questions and seeing your top mm-hmm. five strengths, what was your first – what were your opinions? Like, what did you come away with? Uh, at first, I was – I was just like, no, this is way too long. You know, it's, it's, it, had, it had 240 questions, but it really mm-hmm. wasn't. It made you think. Now, that I, I appreciated. And mm-hmm. they wanted to make sure they would say different uh, questions, but they would say that they said the same question, but they would say it in different ways. So they make sure right. that they that you were feeling the same way about everything. And mm-hmm. so when I walked away with it, my thoughts were, that it was an affirmation to what I have been going against or thought I was going against for a very long time. And since I was a child, there were things that I just inherently knew or I could see. I know my my dad would always say, I was just like, I cannot believe that they just believe that and says that you couldn't see that she was lying and blah, blah, blah. And I remember my dad just sat there and he was, my dad, you have to know my dad to to realize what I'm saying, but he was just like, well, not everybody has your gift. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, what? I was just like, okay. But as I got older, I understood what he said. It comes back to my mind. And so mm-hmm. my thing is it strengthens you that you would know. And see, these are my thing was this is something that as a chi- as, from a child, that you people should allow you to experiment this and accept mm-hmm. what you have to give and the and the 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 ones that are older and wiser should strengthen that for you and let mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and just um and a lot of this they're getting this but this is something that you should grow up with you know you can reaffirm this mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. i I sit here and I uh, watch the kids just – now, we played games. We don't want to go back through that again. <laughs> but <laughs> we played games, but even at that point, our gifts were coming through in the games. We were looking for certain things in the game. And mm-hmm. I see kids just get on the, on the, on the tube and uh, get on the games, and they're just, they're just doing something. And you should – and I and – I, I always say this that if you don't have a reason for doing what you what you're doing, you shouldn't be doing it. Mm-hmm. And and I know we were talking about this last week is that is if you don't know why or how you got where you have gotten, it's easy for you to fall. Right. And mm-hmm. and and I think that is something that is good because we're not a lot of people aren't getting that from home now, and this is good that someone went in and had the the wherewithal, the uh, the what do you call it, wisdom, 
to because mm-hmm. it's it's more than the notion to put these these questions down and put it in the manner that it comes up with your exact um, mm, mentality, your right. your strength, you know. So mm-hmm. that was what I came away with because I started reading you all as well, and that is why from the beginning we all got along, even though we had different personalities and we mm-hmm. all had different uh, things to do. Um, mm-hmm. We, um, shoot, I'm sitting here and my dog is doing something in here. I don't know what he's doing. Um, but we all got all put, put us all together for a reason, for us, uh, for uh, such as this that we're doing right now. And so mm-hmm. I am always blessed when I see stuff, when I hear things or I see things, stuff like this. And it's just, it does something to me. And I don't know how to, how to put it in words, but it's just like it just, it, 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 it brightens me or something. So, yeah, right. I, I enjoyed mm-hmm. it, and I'm glad you brought it up. Um, great. So you brought that to the table. Let me put it like that. Huh? I think for mm-hmm. me, going off of what you said, for me, this type of thing and other things that happened since we've kind of – I mean, we've always been close. We've always been a very close family, and I think us three especially have been especially close, um, mm-hmm. at least in my, during my lifetime. Um, and this, yeah. to me, yeah. is just when, looking at the results. And when I look at your results, it's like, you know, it's like reading the Paula story. Like, it, it, it's so authentically yep, you. Sure. And, um, yeah, <laughs> it's so yeah. authentically you. Yeah. And it's just a confirmation to me. It's just one of those, it's a little nugget. Let me know, okay, you're on the right track. You're on to something. And it, it motivates mm-hmm. me to keep digging deeper with you guys to see how much more self-discovery we can come into. Yeah, so, um, I agree with looking that. At yeah. your, looking at how your 24 um, strengths ranked, was there anything that surprised you? Like, did you look at anything and did you feel like maybe you thought something should have been higher than it was? Or um, I think, um, what, what was it? There was something that I was thinking about and I was just like, it, it wasn't that I, I, I tried not to rank it I, I, and, that was, and that helped me to uh, sort of rank what, where I am, but certain things happen it, when things, there are certain things that are needed when you do things when you need them, when you need them. So you got to be able to mm-hmm. know that, yeah, this is your strength, but it ain't time for you to do that now. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think what yeah. I was really, um, one of the ones that I was um, thinking about, and I should have uh, written that down because I was going to call you last night, and I thought, no, we're going to talk about this on the show. Um, <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was because I was so uh, – how was it? That was one of my strengths, and I realized that I've always had it uh, being courageous. And mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. a lot of times that I was very, very shy. And I, I was afraid to say things in front of people and because I thought that they – because when you're so young at a certain age, uh, and that, that has happened to me uh, up through the, the ages, at a certain age they think that you're supposed to know X, Y, and Z and not uh, PQ and um, or whatever. And so mm-hmm. that – it's just everything just affirmed and brought it back to my attention. It's just like mm-hmm. you had to remember. It helped me to remember. And to strengthen right. some things that were a lower on the totem pole than what I assumed that it was. Right. Okay. Yeah. So um, I just wanted to say when we think of ranking, so they do rank these, but you shouldn't look at it as strengths versus weaknesses. So your right. number four, your number twenty four strength is not less. Or, or not as good as your number one strength. It's just this is okay. your top five are the things that you move through most easily. So I, I want to keep mm-hmm. stressing and reiterating that because it's easy for people. Okay. For me, I'm a competitive person by nature. When I saw certain things lower than the top five, I was offended. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I had to, <laughs> I had to <laughs> sit back and realize that this is not strengths and weaknesses. These are all strengths. It's just certain things right. come more naturally to me than others. Right. And, and the right. same thing for you guys. So, um, James, did you read over Paula's? Um, did you look at our results, or did you just look at your own? I just looked at my own. Uh, I didn't really mm-hmm. read over it, but I did want to uh, talk about especially her top five. Like, it really does mm-hmm. touch uh, the core of who she is, really. Mm-hmm. Um, just, in, just in the top five, it really does. And uh, we all know that you're very uh, spiritual-based, 
uh, mm-hmm. for, for the most part. I mean, everything is dealing with God in the universe uh, through just about mm-hmm. anything that you speak. You know, you walk it, you talk it. That's just exactly who you are. And, you know, mm-hmm. um, you, the way that you see things, uh, especially when it comes to, like, nature and uh, mm-hmm. beauty, like, you can tell us a story about how you had a bee that always flies in front of your face whenever you walk out. You know, oh, yeah. you just kind of you just kind of, you just kind of left it alone, and you know you just noticed that it wasn't bothering you. And right. I guess somebody else came to the house, and the bee was I guess more disturbed with their energy. And those are just certain yeah. things that you know that you that you take notice of that a lot of people wouldn't even think twice about. You know, mm-hmm. um, hmm. and also uh, you know your love for animals uh, again with the love of nature, and that shows with the. 50,000 50, dogs that you got coming to your house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you can't turn them down. And you can't let them go because you, you, you can't. <laughs> because uh, you, you, uh, cause you love them so much. And, that, and that, I think that's a good yeah. thing. Um, and then when it, when it speaks on, you know, you, you facing different obstacles, right? I mean, how many people do you know? especially at the time that you went, just jump, jump up and, you know, go to Africa just to make a major move in your own life, you know. Yeah. Uh, no, Not too many people do that, you know. I think that's right. a very brave and courageous thing right there in itself. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it, it speaks a lot to who you are. Uh, it speaks a lot to, uh, you know, it, your, your, basically your, your characteristic really does. So, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed that, that top five of yours for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, and yeah. I, I totally and wholeheartedly agree. I mean, um, if I hadn't met you and if I hadn't known you my entire life, these top five really mm-hmm. basically sums up who you are in a nutshell. I mean, and it, it shows mm-hmm. all the all of these things show so so brightly and so vividly in just the way mm-hmm. you move, the way you talk, the way you interact with people. So I, I really enjoyed, and I didn't cheat. I, I waited till this to, to go through it because I didn't want to get ahead of myself. I wanted to like experience it in real time with everybody else, and I feel like it's super authentically you. Okay. So, I thank you for taking oh, the time to, to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I know no. you don't like you know I have people, people flattering you, but it up because it was just great. Huh? <laughs> I know. Yeah, but I have to. One thing you see this stuff and you can't really be flattered by it because it's something that you it's something that you've done all your life, you know, mm-hmm. but you just had to right. get it. You, you're constantly fighting people with it because they don't hear or see what you hear and see. And then at a mm-hmm. certain point I had to realize maybe it's not for you, you know, maybe mm-hmm. this wasn't mm-hmm. for you. You know, I was talking to James and he had said that. And I think mm-hmm. we have to um, take that as this is what God, because even now I can see – your little baby, Alea, uh, her strength's coming out in her already. And she, mm-hmm. even though the the edges hadn't been taken off, the sharp points, and she hadn't been molded because she's not old enough. She, she, and you would think she was one or two because the only way that you would know she was younger than that because she can't walk. And it's just like <laughs> we can right. see that. Hey, you know, we can see that. And that's where we should be. My thing is, we're bringing it back to the spirituality thing. That is where we should be trying to um, um, mold our children and stop mm-hmm. trying to uh, stop trying to. Oh, I'm I'm not beautiful enough. I need to go and have a um, get my boobs done. I need to go and get my <laughs> I need to go and get my get a facelift. I need to go and do this, that, and the other. And the children mm-hmm. can't be children. Because the parents are so hard and trying to be young, you know, mm-hmm. embrace right. your 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 spirituality, embrace uh, your your what you have garnered through the years that you've done, and allow them to get to where they where they are. And so I think mm-hmm. I, that that is a lot of what came to my mind when I was reading them, when I re- read you all thing, you know, uh, even from uh, from a young child. Mm-hmm. When, when you, I started thinking right. about when you all were just little, bo- little boys and girls, that I saw that even in you then. So, and that's right. a, it's that's you know, I'm a it's talker, I'm a talker of the, huh? I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm pushing you off the soapbox for a second. 
<laughs> I really, before you get too far ahead of the point, I wanted to stop and say there is a survey that can be taken by children. Um, I think mm-hmm. maybe seven to eight range is appropriate because before that, you know, they're still developing. And, you know, it, this is more toward a older child into adolescence. They do have a survey available for them so that you can help yeah. identify those strengths in them and help them yeah. use those strengths to be more successful in school and in their extracurricular activities and that kind of thing. So um, yeah. before you before we get too far away from that, it's an excellent point, and that is available at the same website. And as mm-hmm. you're looking through the available surveys. Mm-hmm. Um, the VIA for ch- character strengths, it says specifically for children. So same exact yeah, title, it just has for children. Right. So if, if that's something mm-hmm. you're interested in doing with your older child or adolescent child, it's a great opportunity mm-hmm. to help them, you know, start doing some self-discovery. Right. All right. So, you know, even at young, because like, even when I was young, I was sitting there asking God, what did you, why did you put me here? What is the point? I don't get it. It doesn't mm-hmm. make any sense. And uh, children... Or they not, may not be thinking the way that you think they're thinking, but they're thinking stuff. And, and mm-hmm. you 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 see things the way that you can you can, you understand things the way that you can put them together. And I was just a strange mm-hmm. child. And but yeah, yeah. you're gonna you may have a strange child. I see this all the time. And you got mm-hmm. to you have to acknowledge your your children and. And I think one of the questions, well, I won't tell what the questions are on there, but one of the things that you can't, you can't treat everybody the same way. Mm-hmm. You can't. Yep. Because yeah, that's they don't true. have the same gifts. They don't have the same strengths, you know, and you have to, you have to be able to realize that. So, yeah, and I'm glad you brought that up, um, that they, they can, because this is a test. With, and I was going to ask you, what does VIA stand for? Um, let me get to let me go ahead and get to James's survey, and then I'll go back. And oh, okay. Cover all okay. That. So mm-hmm. I don't want to have have that information chopped up. It's best if it's all yes, concise. Yes. Okay. So I'm not cutting mm-hmm. you off. I will get to that. I just want to do it at the end. Okay. Um, okay. So without further ado, we'll go ahead That's and we'll look at James's top five strengths. You ready, yeah. James? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. I'm okay. ready. All right. So and and I didn't cheat again. I didn't cheat, but I did see the first one and I automatically yeah this is him to a T. So the first <laughs> his first top strength is love of learning. Uh he loves yeah. learning new things, whether it's in a mm-hmm. classroom or on his own. Um you've always it says you always love school. Now you said last week that you struggled in school, but I think that, that those are different challenges that you had and it had nothing mm-hmm. to do with your ability or your love of learning. It was more of the environment. Yeah. Um exactly. reading, museums, anywhere that you can learn, you're all about it. Um, perspective, yeah. Yeah. wisdom. Um, you might not think of yourself as a wise person, but I think people, when they talk to you, they know they can hear your wisdom. I know I hear your wisdom. And I, I talked to my husband about it, how I could hear even, at, you know, watching you develop from, because, you know, you're younger than me. So I watched you go through mm-hmm. your teenage years and I watched you come into your young adulthood and I watched you become more of a man. <laughs> and I can mm-hmm. see a change happening in you probably over the past six years, maybe seven years, where you really are, like, coming into your own, and you even the way you talk, mm-hmm. the way you move, everything is changing about mm-hmm. you, and, and you exude mm-hmm. that wisdom. It's very true. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, That's why we call him granddaddy. <laughs> <laughs> creativity. The third strength is creativity, ingenuity, and originality. Um, and this is very true. You're always looking at new ways to do things, um, always looking at ways to be innovative, to, to change your viewpoint mm-hmm. on things, to change other people's viewpoint on things, and um, definitely, I definitely see that in you. Uh, number four, mm-hmm. curiosity and interest in the world. You're curious about everything. You're always asking questions. You're yes, looking for things to, to satisfy that. You know, I consider you to be an autodidactic, which is a person who self-teaches. You know, you don't wait for some. Mm-hmm. You don't have to go sit in a class to learn. You actually go out and you find the information that you want to find on your own. Mm-hmm. And, and you, yeah, are, you basically, right. you're self. Te- you're in that. You're constantly teaching yourself. Self. Te- uh, self-teaching. Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, last. Um, the la- your last or your number five strength, hope, optimism, and future-mindedness. Um, you are a very optimistic person. Uh, you're looking mm-hmm. toward 
uh, the future. You, you've got a plan. You've got things that you can see that you envision for yourself, and you're making moves to try to get to those things. So mm-hmm. like I said for Paula, reading this top five for you, it is so authentically you in the way that yeah. I see you as my little brother. And as a man, mm-hmm. I definitely see these uh, these strings very shine very brightly through you. So having said that, looking at your top five strengths, what were your thoughts coming out of yeah, that? Yeah, um... Yeah, coming out the survey, it, it definitely, I mean, it, it hit home. I was like, yeah, that's that's definitely who I am when I looked at it. I was like, yeah, that's right on point. And even when you we answer some of the questions, you know, I, I'll, sometimes I second guess um, the the, uh, the question or the answer, mm-hmm. you know, just, yeah. just to make sure I get it right, you know, because mm-hmm. a lot of things change over time. And, and, you know, sometimes I notice, I guess I got caught in between uh, whether, you know, is that the way I used to be or or the way I kind of mm-hmm. always been or kind of the way that I am now, you know, because, mm-hmm. you know, over the, change, the changes over the years, you know, you have to develop in, in a new way and new strategies yeah. in order to get by for for the day, you know. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I, but it's, it's still right on point when I was answering it. So I, I was very pleased with the whole uh, test or survey in itself. Um, mm-hmm. Like I said, it hit, it hit right on target. And it's, mm-hmm. it's real interesting because, you know, a lot of stuff, you might not even see it in yourself. But right, right. When you when you read it, it kind of brings it out. Like, yeah, I am. I guess I, I do do that, you know. I guess right. I am kind of like that because it, it does make sense, you know. And, again, mm-hmm. it's all about just being honest with the answers um, that you give yeah. on there, you know, at least to the best of your ability. And uh, mm-hmm. it, it, it comes out really good. So, again, like you said, when I said uh, the school part, I was like, well, you know, I never really liked school. But, you know, I go through my own uh, school of thought or, you know, I try to find people that are very similar uh, to to the way that I think and the way that I like mm-hmm. to learn. And I kind of attach myself to either those individuals or those type of books. So, yeah, yeah. I, I can see what you're saying. And, uh, yeah, I, I like I like. Yeah, I think, oh, yeah, uh, um, I'll, I'll, you paused, and I thought you were about to say something else. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> that's all right. Paul, no, are you, are you waiting for me? Yeah, yeah I, I was just, I was looking at it from uh, when I read it, I was just like, because you have to, there's something that he touched on, and when we, when we were giving this to you, but this is not, this is only for you. It doesn't matter what someone else thinks. Mm-hmm. Be honest. Right. If you can't be honest with yourself, then it's not helping you. And mm-hmm. that's when I knew that he was being honest and he was – because I would go back over and read the questions like he was doing. You know, mm-hmm. now, am I really – did I really think that? Do I really – you know, you have to make sure right. – you have to be introspective of yourself. And so I agree with that. And he has always been that way. And I think what he didn't like in school, which I didn't like, because they would pigeonhole you, you know. This is this right. is the way everybody has to do things. This is the way that uh, you're gonna have to do this. No, he's too hyper, or she's just too slow, or she's just that and the other. But it's not that 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 school is just that thing, and that's why you should get it um, that from home. And that school can reinforce that if they're uh-huh. good at what they do. The teachers can. But sometimes they won't, and then it was it was exact to his personality, who what he's always been. And I can say that right. because, yeah, you know, I'm a little older, and I saw him from the time he was born till you know till now, and mm-hmm. it was just I don't know. It just made me go back and just think about things that I hadn't even thought about, you know. So yeah, I I, I agreed with all of it, and you know that that was his personality. Right, and actually you bring up another point that I wanted to cover so I don't forget. So mm-hmm. um, it doesn't matter when you take this survey. It doesn't matter when you take mm-hmm. it, whether you take it in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond. It doesn't yeah. matter because mm-hmm. who you are at your core doesn't really change all that much. So we exactly. took this survey over the weekend, but you can take the same survey in 10 years and your core mm-hmm. of who you are is going to essentially be the same. Um, exactly. Like Paula right. mentioned last week, what what you what you receive when you're develop when your mind is developing is pretty much set in stone by the time you're five. 
your synapses, yes. all those things in your brain, that stuff is set in stone, your emotional self, your mental self, all that stuff mm-hmm. is set by the time you're five years old. It doesn't vary, very, it doesn't really vary very much. Yes. Um, right. So uh, in 10 years, if you take this every year, you're going to get results that are identical or at least very similar. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So and they grow, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. You, you'll, you'll develop, but the core of who you are essentially stays the same. Yeah. Yes, um, yes. Right. I agree. What was I going to ask you? Oh, Paul, oh, James. So the the same question that I asked Paulo. So when you looked at your twenty four mm-hmm. results, was there anything that surprised you as far as the actual ranking? Um, are there things that you thought may would have been higher or maybe even lower on your scale as far as your top strengths? Uh, no, I think the top strengths were right on point. At least the top five, and I didn't really see it as one was better than the other. Personally, mm-hmm. you know, I just kind of see it like, yo, this is this is who you are. Of course, of course, you got mm-hmm. your main core characteristics about yourself, but this is also mm-hmm. uh, what is a part of you. Um, so, uh, one thing I'll say that I did not uh, totally agree with. Well, it's not that I didn't agree with it. Uh, my number twenty-three that's on mm-hmm. there says uh, uh, industry diligence and uh, pers- perseverance. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but what it says, uh, you work hard to finish what you start, no matter the project. Uh, you you get it out the door in a timely fashion. You don't get distracted when you work, and you take satisfaction in completing. Um, I'm going to shut up and completing tasks. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, that's one of the things. Not that um, I don't agree with that. But it's actually one of the things that I felt like I needed to work on more within mm-hmm. myself um, and, and getting things done. So uh, I think it was kind of cool that, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, even though this is not exactly how I operate, but this is uh, one of the things that, you know, I, this is one of the characteristics that I want to have. You know, like I, right. I, I literally started uh, um, putting stuff on my calendar recently. You know, trying to mm-hmm. trying to plan out my whole day. You know, making the workout mm-hmm. schedule for myself. Make sure I wake up at five o'clock in the morning and work mm-hmm. out before I go to work. You know, so that's uh, uh, like I said, it's pretty cool that you know mm-hmm. it, you could it, it still points certain things out, even though you're not performing in that way. But mm-hmm. it maybe it's something that you would like to, or a type of person that you would like to be at the end of the day. Uh-huh. Right. So hold on a second. I, we'll still, I wanted to touch on something that you just that you just said. So again, these twenty four mm-hmm. things, they're all strengths. None of them are weaknesses. Yep. They're all they're all strengths. So mm-hmm. the I the thing to take away from it is there are things that you do more easily than other things. Right. Your top yep. five are the easiest for you to do. These are things that happen to you happen naturally. Um, you don't have to work at it. It's just always is what it is for you. So the fact right. that you had to take some initiative to get tasks done, it just goes to show that even though timeliness and all those things, that is a character strength for you, you just, it just requires a little bit more work for you to become more proficient in that area. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, makes perfect yeah. sense. Okay. But he, and he's trying to uh, go from uh, teenage uh, or younger years of trying to do things in a proficient manner, the way you did it then. It's just like you can say that that's not something that you did, but we go back to those games, to <laughs> go back to Mario, and oh, right. you would not stop until you got to the place where you wanted it to be. You would not stop. Mm-hmm. And you remember how you said that you used to dream about the game so you could figure out yep. how you can get it better? I mean, that's, mm-hmm. you can say that's not, a, that's not, but that's why it was low on that you ranked yourself there. Because you you wanted to get a little better, but that's what who and what you are, and that's why you're striving for that. Because I, I trust me, mm-hmm. I see people every day, and it is what it is. And and when I hear people say that, well, it is what it is. I'm just like, what is what is the is? I mean, do you know what the right, is? Right. Right. And they, <laughs> and they don't know, and they don't care. And that, that's mm-hmm. that's uh, a lot of people. It's just like, oh, it didn't, it didn't work. Uh, like you can go in the store and you can say, do you all have X, Y, Z? Where, where is so-and-so, so-and-so? And they'll say, I don't know. And mm-hmm. that's it. They're not going, to know, they're not going any further. Right. And so 
that's that's what I, that's that that's the point I'm trying to make. Everybody does not is not trying to strive to do a little bit better to even see themselves that they need to do better. Right. Yeah, I, I mean, and I agree with that. I, like I, I totally agree with that. But you know, mm-hmm. it was with saying what you're saying. I mean, this this kind of shines a bigger light on the whole whole thing, especially yeah. when you're growing up in a system, right, that does not mm-hmm. cater to who you are. It caters to the system right. so, and right. what the system actually wants. So me saying that is me knowing that that's who I am, you know, mm-hmm. at, at my core. And, you know, it's kind of like when you're, you're missing something or you have like a, how do I say, you have a hole in your heart and you're just trying to fill it with something. You know, that's just mm-hmm. one of those things. Um, you know that you know. I feel like that I'm missing. That's that's one of the the holes that I'm trying to fill. You know to get myself mm-hmm. back on the right right track, pretty much. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm awesome. with you on that one. Yeah. So I, I, I mean, looking at this again, this is like so authentically you. And I, I just wanted to again, I just want to keep reiterating it because I think I prepared you guys to understand mm-hmm. that there's no value that's more than the other. You know, they all are equal. It's just certain things are easier for you. And I, I think I prepared you guys for that, and that didn't happen mm-hmm. for me. So when I first read my results, I was like, well, you think this is probably – like I said, I was offended. And we're going to get to mine in just a second. And, and I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll answer the same questions that I asked you guys so that you guys can – so that you can hear from my perspective. But um, Right. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm glad, James, I want to thank you, just like I thank Paula for taking the time to read the survey. And I hope that you got mm-hmm. something out of it. So, yeah, yeah, no, uh, thank you for uh, letting me know about it. You know, it's a big tool mm-hmm. and a big help, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Awesome. I so with that, now it's on to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna, I'm going to go over my top five strengths, and mm-hmm. we can I'll, you know, answer, answer the same questions that I asked you all, and I'll get your guys' take on it as well. So mm-hmm. uh, my top strengths, for me, my number one top strength is spirituality, sense of purpose, and faith. Um, same as Paul's, and I think that's why you and I have always, even from when I was a child, we've always connected mm-hmm. on a spiritual level. Yeah. Um, and because mm-hmm. we both, yeah. are, it's just a very um, upfront strength for both of us. Mm-hmm. Um, appreciation of beauty and excellence, which I think was also in your top mm-hmm. five. Yeah. Um, notice, noticing, appreciating things that are beautiful doing things well, mm-hmm. it's important for me to, to take the time to, you know, make something look nice. Um, right. Curiosity in the world, curious, curious mm-hmm. about everything, always asking questions. I find mm-hmm. everything fascinating. I, I, to my husband's chagrin, it irritates him, I'm sure, because I'm always asking questions, <laughs> always digging into things, and it's, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, my my number four strength, bravery and valor. And the reason why I'm not going into these in detail is because these are strengths that Paula and James and I have shared, so I've already covered them. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Bravery mm-hmm. and valor, a courageous person, don't shrink back from a threat or from a challenge. You speak up for what's right um, and act on your own convictions. And my number five strength is generosity and kindness. And it basically mm-hmm. says, uh, you're kind, kind and generous to others. You're never too busy to do a favor. You enjoy doing good things for, other, for others, um, even if you don't know them well. And this yeah. is all um, very, very true for me. So mm-hmm. um, the first question that I asked you guys was what, was, what did I take away from the survey? So my first thing that mm-hmm. I took away was the first thought was, there is no way I'm doing this 240 question survey. <laughs> <laughs> because the I abhor can you bring me? I yeah. abhor tediousness. When I see something yeah. that looks like mm-hmm. it's gonna be tedious, I'm just like my baby's crying. Chris is gonna bring her to me. So if you hear her crying, that it's okay, I'm gonna get her together, she'll be fine. That's um, okay. But I was very glad that I took the time, you know, the ten or fifteen minutes to sit down and answer all those questions. Um mm-hmm. what surprised me, hi baby. What surprised me <laughs> when I saw my like, hi, why you look so sad? Aw. What surprised me was where leadership ranked because I always considered myself to be a leader. And when I saw mm-hmm. that leadership was the lowest on the list for me, I immediately, like I said, mm-hmm. I was offended because that, that's not what I believed myself to be. But then, you know, mm-hmm. the, um, the person who moderated the test for me, she let me know It reminded me that, again, this is not strengths versus weaknesses. These are all strengths. It's just there are certain mm-hmm. things that I do more easily than other things. And when I stopped to think about it, 
I am a I'm a military person. I'm a, I'm a leader. I lead people every day, but I don't lead people by standing in front of them and telling them that I'm in charge. I use my exactly. other traits to get people to mm-hmm. follow me. It much more exactly. easily than trying right. to, to boss people around. Like I mm-hmm. trying to boss people around is is it, it drains me of my energy. But I can get right. people to see where I'm coming from, to appreciate mm-hmm. where I'm trying to go, and then follow me. Yes. Yes. So. Yep. After reading, after seeing my results, what were your guys' opinions? I think that, well, I'm going to, uh, you want to go first, James, or me? Uh, go ahead, go ahead. James. Yeah, I, like I said, because um, I read you all thing and when I didn't even read my own, but it was, <laughs> I was just like, yeah, that's, that's, that's her. I remember I thought the beauty was going to be the first um, strength on yours. Because you always look, it, it, things had to look a certain way. You love little things that, but the color of things, and you love the beauty in things. You just, and you would, I remember the first thing that you were, I think you maybe have been two or three, and they had taken you somewhere, and and you saw some, they, they were telling you about the clothes, and, you know, they were showing you what they wanted you to do. And you said, and, you, and everybody was just like, oh, that girl said, you said, this is beautiful. And they were like, <laughs> the girl said it was beautiful. I'm <laughs> just like, okay, <laughs> y'all got to, I mean, did you not see this before? But they, I guess they didn't. Uh, I guess it, everybody didn't see the same thing. And I'm just like, okay. And it was just so funny to me how everybody reacted to that with you mm-hmm. because that you mm-hmm. always you always were in control of you and you always like environment and um so yeah i thought you you it was dead on it, what you your strengths were dead on other than the one i thought that the beauty was going to be the first well i thought the yeah but i thought the religion would have been one and then the next one would have been your the beauty seeing the beauty in things Mm-hmm. Because you always wanted to read stuff, you always wanted to find out who God was. You always wanted to, you know, just little things. So yeah, I, I agree with that. Because mm-hmm. you know I'm a talker, yep. so I'm a, I'm gonna stop. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all right. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely agree with it as well. Uh, for spirituality, that's definitely uh, huge in your life. I think we all know that. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially yeah. people that, that that talk to you that that are around you, they they know that you are a believer in God uh, first mm-hmm. and foremost, and uh, yes. you definitely study and, and dive into your belief in that, and I and I love that about you. Um, mm-hmm. uh, and when it says, I believe you also care a lot uh, when it, when it comes to the family. So you mm-hmm. have a lot of loving traits, you know, whenever mm-hmm. there's a problem with the family, you know, you, you you don't hesitate to dive in, you know, to see what the issue is and what the problem is, you know. So yeah. uh, that's definitely a, a strong strength for you. And uh, I also know that you stand up for what you believe in, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, also in, with the programs that, that, that you uh, are all into within the, within the military or at, with your job or your work, you know, um, mm-hmm. Now that shows, you know, that you want to stand up for what's right. You know, mm-hmm. you don't you don't want all these uh, things to go past, like the abuse or you know any pedophiles or anything like that. You you want to make mm-hmm. sure that something is is done about this. You're not just going to sit around and let those kind of things happen. So I think mm-hmm. it does wrap you up uh, as far as especially your top five of of who you are. You know. Mm-hmm. And this is this is exactly how you operate. And maybe you were kind of pissed off at first, <laughs> you know, when you seen it, <laughs> you know. But uh, uh, it, it does show who you are. And because mm-hmm. you're this way, this is what makes you a better leader, you know, than just yeah. you know maybe maybe uh, k- kind of I don't know. I, I wouldn't say ordering people around. I don't see you as a person that orders people around. But maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe you may or may not have thought that's what leadership was, or, you know, or, or, you know, directing people in the right direction. But mm-hmm. the way that you move uh, shows leadership. Like you lead by example. And example, a lot of people, I was going to say that, yeah. Yeah, you lead by example. And a lot of people mm-hmm. aren't able to do what you do. So, yeah, I think this, right. this does hit on a lot of things about you. 
Mm-hmm. They follow you because of what you do, because of exactly. what they see that that you are what you what you are portraying yourself to be. You know, you are the mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Awesome. So I agree with um, James on that one. Um, I hope that this was eye-opening for you two. Uh, it was definitely huge for me. It's something, I did this survey, the first time I did it was probably four years ago, but I still refer mm-hmm. back to it. These, you know, it's a self-awareness tool. You know, this is what yeah. I'm good at. This is how I'm able to move most easily. And it's all about managing mm-hmm. your energy. And, you know, like I said last week in my closing thoughts, energy is not what you get from a candy bar or from an, an energy drink. Energy is mm-hmm. the, the mood that you bring to a situation. And when you yeah. operate it within your character strength, you're able to maximize your energy because it's yeah. tedious and it's hard and it's work to actually operate outside of what you're naturally strong and what you're naturally good at. So yeah. I hope mm-hmm. that you guys were able to um, use this tool. I hope it's something that you put in your tool bag for the future. And please share it with mm-hmm. other people because I think it can help um, a lot of people getting to right. a, a better, more actualized self. Um, so mm-hmm. to go back to Paula's question, she asked what VIA stood for. So VIA actually stands for Values in Action. Mm-hmm. Values in Action. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I like that. It just, yeah, so it basically just talks about the things that are important to you and how you can use those things. So mm-hmm. um, the last thing I wanted to talk about was leverage. Um, what does that mean? Well, we know now through this survey, this series of self-discovery, what things we're naturally more good at. So what does that mean? What can we do? How can we use that? Well, if I know that spirituality and love of things that are beautiful are a mm-hmm. strength of mine, then I can use that when I'm talking to people, um, when I'm presenting to people, because I actually find myself presenting quite often, um, and I do mm-hmm. use my spirituality. I use spiritual references, and, you know, when it, when it comes to making a presentation, you know, I, I understand that aesthetics is important. So mm-hmm. I leverage my strength uh, in seeing the beauty in things by making my presentations be aesthetically pleasing, you know, I make sure mm-hmm. that the lighting is right, the color scheme is right, yeah. the the setup is right. I make sure that when I'm mm-hmm. arranging seating that I put the right people together to maximize conversation. You know, you, you can't just mm-hmm. put everybody together. you got to make sure you put the right people together so that you can generate conversation and make people feel right. comfortable. So the, this mm-hmm. is how I leverage my individual strengths to mm-hmm. um, to win, to basically, to basically win. So now that you two have had these things revealed to you, even though you know them already, mm-hmm. even though they've been re- now that they've been revealed to you, how do you think you will use these to leverage your winning potential? That's a good question. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. yes, yeah yes. I mean, yeah, I think um, this is definitely a great tool. So this is something that I know personally that I'm going to print out, you know, and just have it by mm-hmm. me so I could keep a constant reminder of this is who I need to be. Um, just mm-hmm. in case I get out of character, and we all can get out of character. It's, it's natural yeah. life. But, uh, but you know, me uh, me personally, I'm always trying to find ways to better myself. Um, so mm-hmm. to use to have this tool here, I think it actually helped me to uh, continue to better myself and to stay within my own boundaries, you know, and flourish mm-hmm, yeah. with with my strengths, mm-hmm. you know, because, yeah. uh, you know, like I said, because you can get out of character because you may think that you're doing something wrong, you know, uh, yeah. because it, it might not be working the way that you want it to work. But sometimes mm-hmm. I think you got to look deeper within yourself to uh, bring something that's still within that characteristic but it, it's, mm-hmm. it's something that you might not have noticed or what's, what's the right word I'm looking for? It's, it's, it's something you within that characteristic. Yeah, you paid attention to it, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, yeah, you might not have paid attention to it or, you know, you, you, maybe you wouldn't think that that characteristic could bring out a, a different you in a sense, you know, right. a, 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 be, a better you in a sense. So mm-hmm. I think I'm going to use this tool and, and really – dig deep within myself and just create that person that I always felt I needed to be in the first place. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I agree with what James was saying is that the piggyback on what he was saying because it 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 did bring out things that sometimes you just 
totally forgot about or you didn't pay attention to or you mm-hmm. you didn't use it, you didn't think of it as a, a accent or something that you can use in in your jobs or whatever it is you're doing. And I remember mm-hmm. thinking um, when I we were talking about this last week, and I said I remember walking out because I had um, this was right after nine eleven, and I had gone out there to, and I I always talked to everybody, and it's just like I never I would talk to a frog. I mean, it's just like I never meet a stranger. I have people tell me that all the time. You never meet a stranger, and it's not mm-hmm. funny. It's not. It's not strange to me. I will walk up to you, and it's just like I'll, I, I automatically see your your weaknesses, your and where it is you need to be strengthened, and all this stuff. And so I'm trying to to make it a little bit better. But I remember I used that a lot in my in my job. And I remember when mm-hmm. I walked out there, and I I didn't think that anybody paid attention to what I was doing, you know. I'm working, I'm doing all this stuff, and then everybody, these were people that we were honoring, they stood up and they mm-hmm. were clapping for me. And I remember mm-hmm. I just wanted to just fall down through the through the ground, you know. I was like, <laughs> what is this? What is I, I didn't know what to do with it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But then when I started reading that, and I was just like, ah, uh, because they look at it as your strengths and weaknesses. I look at it as these are your gifts. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. not a spooky way that you just know that these are your gifts. These are something that you've had all the time. And I thought about right. James when we went somewhere and he was there. And my thing was, oh, my God, these people, all the women were looking at him. And they were trying to get, they were just trying to get into his head. I could tell the way they were looking at him. They just wanted to, they just wanted to find out what made him tick and find out, you know, they find out, you know, he's tall, you know, he's he's nice looking, he's got that uh, beautiful mahogany skin, and he's just, and I'm thinking, okay, now, okay, if she comes over here, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick my feet out, and I'm just going to trip her up. You know, it's just, you know, I'm just upset. I'm just like, what are they doing? And I can see that their, their goal was, it's just like you can't be too, I remember hearing an old person say to me once, um, that you can't let people familiar familiarity breeds contempt, and sometimes mm-hmm. people want to get familiar with you so they can mm-hmm. get angry with you because they can't find out that they're not seeing what they thought that they were going to see in you. And mm-hmm. he right. walked up, and I remember because I hadn't seen James in a bit, and I saw him. He got up, and I was just like, "Oh, he's going over there near that girl. That." that Mm-mm. I don't want to call it what I said it was, well, that thought over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I thought. You can just say thought. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> and I thought, okay. And I looked, and I was just like, I'm, I'm going to watch, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll over there because I was in my wheelchair. And I didn't want to be in my wheelchair. I wanted to get a butt. We won't go there. And I looked, mm-hmm. and I was just like, James could care less. James had one thing on his mind. Whatever it was he had on his mind, he wasn't paying attention to the women. It didn't matter. He knew what he was, who and what he was. And at that point, I just started, you know, I'm just like, I'm thanking God for him, and I'm thinking, I'm praying for him that this will always stay with him because people are always trying to break you down, trying to, uh-huh. they'll build you up. To te- so that they can, bre- they can break you down. And if you know who you are, people can't tear you down. And I know mm-hmm. that I saw with Tiffany, I remember she was, um, had uh, driven, I had flown, flown to um, D.C. And um, uh, D.C. and she had, she was in a play and she was in something else. And I was looking at her. And I looked at the difference between her, and I'm not talking about. Uh, every, I'm not trying to talk about people. I'm, and maybe I'm. What do they call it? Um, because I know you that I'm seeing this, so I'm not trying to put anybody else down. But being in the position that she was in, she didn't look hard. She didn't look. Mm-hmm. She could be that female that she was. And still do her job, you know. Mm-hmm. She had the strength, but she still was she still was that still that girly girl, you know. She got up there and she did what she had to do, and it was just 
I, you know, and that kind of stuff, I, I, I thank God for, you know, because I, you I always that. prayed for you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I forgot that you were there for that. I, I forgot that you had even come to that to that play. Yes, mm-hmm. I, I had to have that because yep. you told me you were, you were going to be in it, and I had a meeting that I had to, but it was in another, but it was like an hour away from there, but I wanted to be there, um, and then I found out, I saw your dad again. I hadn't seen James in a long time, and James was what he was. He's just, he enjoys, I want to say a good time guy, but let me put it like this because that doesn't sound nice. He is somebody who just likes, to have people enjoy what he's doing for them, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. he wants you to so he wants to see him, and that's what he's always done. He's always been, I'm going to put the money out there. I'm going to make sure that whatever it is you want, what because we were sitting in the box seat, um, mm-hmm. and he came up and he ended up. Well, what do you all want to eat? And I'm just like, well, you know. I want. I think I was in this, and I was into the veggie thing at the time. And I think uh, Stephanie wanted um, shrimp and somebody. And we ended up, and it had to be like two or three hundred dollars. He didn't say a word. He never. He never. He he liked the fact that he could do that for people. And mm-hmm. you can see the. You can see the what the negative in people, but sometimes you need to see the positive too, and then you can strengthen that. And that's what he would like to be. And I saw that in Tiffany, uh, that she was that little girl that she was. And I saw that in both of you all in two separate instances, instances, but I still, I saw that, you know. I remember when you Mm -hmm. flew down to, uh, and I'm talking because this this stuff is in my head. I'll be be saying this to myself after I get off the thing. But I remember when you flew down to Dallas, and my thing was, I'm just like, okay, I'm going to make sure that I keep him in in line, keep him in a place where I can see him because I know these women are running around here and there's been these bathing suits, but I didn't have to worry about that. James wasn't, he wasn't, even at that point, he wasn't, he was, he had one thing on his mind. And I remember I was mm-hmm. just like, okay, he's bored. I don't want him to be bored. I want him, to, I don't want him to just to be here and get caught up into something. So I called some, the, the, the head coach down there at the, what was the name of the school, James? So that, I can't remember uh, the name of college. Uh, yes, yeah, I, I, forgot, I forgot the name of school. It was, yeah, but he was, was an old, old-time uh, family friend. And I said, I have him here. I said, he's, I said that I want to see if he can come down there and play. And James was in high school. Were you in high school? I don't even know where you were in yeah, high, was in high school, school at that time. Yeah, but yeah, what were you, like ninth school. grade? What, what grade were you in? Yeah, I was, uh, probably, yeah, I want to say ninth grade. Yeah. He was in ninth yeah, grade. Had to be he's, I took him down there. He's like, I was just like, you're going to take care of him, right? You're going to make sure that, you know, blah, 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 because he was like two hours away. And James uh, stayed there and played foot, uh, basketball with uh, college uh, kids, and, and they were loving him. You know, they just, mm. it, it, it was, you all had that give. You all love people. You have always liked that. James has always, he didn't, he'd never met a, a stranger. I, I don't care where we went. He, if there was a boy somewhere around to play with, he was going to play with it. Tiffany was going to talk, and, but he, she, was gonna, she, she wasn't going to get her hands nasty. She wasn't going to get her clothes nasty. <laughs> yeah, sure <laughs> you know, yeah, she was going to go in there and play with her dog. And if you, want to, if you wanted to, uh, but you got to do what she told you to do. <laughs> just, and you come in there and play with her, but this was her dog, and you can't do X, Y, Z. So it was just I see this, and I am, I am, I deem myself blessed to have that God um, placed you all in my life. You know what I'm saying? So there's a reason for everything that you do, and I'm saying this because. And I want to let Tiffany finish, but we're getting to the close the closing of the of the um, of the of our podcast. But I believe that you should always be grateful. You should always be a good mm-hmm. steward of what God has given to you. I remember once I met a friend, and I don't know whether I don't know whether Tiffany remembered because she was so young. 
But I had gone to North Carolina, and Stephanie had some a friend, and I don't know what it was about her. It was it. She touched my heart, and I was really shy, and I really didn't. I, I was just. I was in a place where I didn't want to talk, and she was just like, well, you can come and hold the baby. She had just had a baby. You can hold, hold the baby. You can do blah, 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 blah. And so when I got back home, I thought, well, I'm going to call her and see how she was doing and just to tell her, you know, that I appreciated her because she was a beautiful brown-skinned woman, and she was just she was just something. It was something about her. I called her. This was like the next year. It wasn't even a whole year. It was just months had passed. But when I called, she had died. Mm. She was dead. And she had uh, some type of rare form of cancer. And her husband answered mm. the phone. And I was just like, and I asked to speak to her. And he sort of said, uh, who is this? And I said, I don't know whether you remember me. I said, I had come down there for the summer. And I just, she had just fell on my mind. And I wanted to. Just tell her, you know, that I appreciated her uh, when I was there, blah, 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 because I didn't know what to say, and I think I was stuttering and blah, blah, blah. And he said, well, he said, I appreciate that. He said, but I just want you to know that she is, she, she passed. And I was just like, what? Mm -hmm. Because it was the way that he said it, Mm -hmm. she's gone or something. I said, do you know when she's going to come back? That's what he said. I said, you know what, mm-hmm. well, she is passed. And I was just like, oh, my God. And I said, from that point forward, I was not going to let a day go by without me a lot, t- telling you, uh, the person that was in my life how I appreciated them. Mm-hmm. And whatever it was that was, feeling, that was in my heart to tell them, I was never going to allow that to happen again. From that point forward, that is, that, she changed my life. And so mm-hmm. I want to say this to our up to to I say audience to the people that are listening to the people that are, have have tuned in to us that don't allow um, a day to go by to that the sun to set on your anger don't let the sun to set on 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 even if it's your love that you don't tell that person mm-hmm. because you don't ever know when it's going to happen. And I'm going to say that, mm-hmm. and I'm going to pass it over to James and Tiffany, but I just want you to know that God is everything that God places in your life. He He wants us, he wants us one, to affect the place as, a, mm-hmm. as his people, and he wants us to be good stewards over who and what he has placed in our lives. And I I want to leave that with you and until we uh, speak again next week. And then uh, we will, I will turn it over to James and Tiffany. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I want to, you know, I want to thank everybody for, uh, you know, listening in, for all the listeners and all the people who will be listening to this uh, uh, podcast here. Uh, but, you know, I just want people to, you know, to realize and, and give yourself a chance to think about who you are. You know, at the end of most of our podcasts, I always talk about Gnosis, uh, which is one of the seven comedic principles, actually the first principle um, in, in the comedic uh, uh, way of thought. So, yeah. and that's really just learning about yourself. And you can mm. kind of see how important that is when you start to figure yeah. yourself out. Um, that's why yeah. it's very important, you know, to take time to get to yourself, if that's the type of person that you, you are, to get to yourself and, and to figure out the things that you need to figure out about yourself first because you can't mm-hmm. do anything. It, it's kind of like when you go on, go on to an airplane, right, and yeah. um, whenever that you look at the instructions, if, if something is bad going on, make sure you put your mask on first. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's the same principle because if you're hurt, you know, and you and you're unconscious, you know you're not able to yep. get up or or help somebody else, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and that's why it's, I think it's important for a lot of people to to wake up, become conscious about who you are, become conscious about yourself, and 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 realize your strengths in order to bring something out of somebody else, you know. Yeah. So again, I I leave with this. Uh, in this life, we are taught many things, 
but I challenge you to find what matters the most, and that is Gnosis. Know yourself so you can operate in the present to secure the future you always dreamed of. And I'm going to pass it on to Tiffany. Yes. Tip, tip. I'm having a sound issue, so if you guys can hear me, please let me know. Yes, yes, we hear you. hear you. Okay, great. I was having some audio issues. Okay, great. So, um, <laughs> first of all, family, thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope that we were able to give you something to chew on, something to think about, to help expand your mind. Um, and I say, again, thank you, and until we speak again. Yes. Be blessed. Mm-hmm. And we say, I you, and I'm hanging up.